The array with method in JavaScript is fairly new. And if you haven't heard of it, I recommend sticking around to see how it works. So this method essentially is going to make a copy of your array, but you can specify a new element at a certain index. Okay, let's have a look at this example right here. We have a constant called hobbies with tennis, reading and gym. Okay, it's a set of three hobbies. Let's change one of the hobbies and create a new array uh, with that. Okay, so we'll say here const new hobbies is equal to then we'll say take the existing hobbies array. Okay, then dot with. Okay, so this here lets you pass in an index, okay? We're gonna say at index one. In other words, reading. Then we're gonna say replace index one with, and we'll just say here coding, all right? If I was to console.log new hobbies, we'll see here that we will get coding in the second position. I'll run this script here, and yes, we do tennis, coding, and gym. So reading is gone. But the important thing here is that this makes a new array. You don't lose your existing uh, state. Okay, let's prove this. We'll log out hobbies before new hobbies. Okay, run it again. And yeah, like I said, we retain that existing array. It doesn't modify. This is as opposed to using the square bracket syntax to change uh, a value at a specified index. Also worth noting that this method here is awesome because it lets you pass in negative indexes. Um, if I was to say negative one instead and run the script again, we'll see here that now we've taken the last item in the array, so gym, and replaced that with coding. So now we get tennis, reading, and coding. And that is all for this one. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.